So I had made a request from the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals for my case against Innova to have MedStar Family Choice added as an officially as an intervener and to establish that so that I can take action against the MedStar Family Choice is just a shell corporation it's a collaboration between the Maryland state government and MedStar. So really, ultimately, it's very easy to then add MedStar and the Maryland government as parties to the case. And in that case, I can get the relief that I need. So, so I need to take action against them more than Inova to address my emergency medical condition. So... I asked the federal court to officially declare it. They did not officially declare it, but they did a roundabout trick, and this is what I mean. Instead of just pointedly uh, saying what Zenith and Schwang were doing were crimes, and saying that now I should get that benefit, what they were sneaking around and doing, so I should uh, have this organization listed as an official party in the case, what the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals did in a roundabout fashion is, um, at the federal case level, see at the federal case level, if you are an intervener at the lower court level, you don't automatically become an intervener at the appeals court level. And even if you are not an intervener at the lower court level, you can become an intervener at the appeals court level. But you can only do so uh, by getting an official court order from the appeals court. But to send a message to Judge Schwang and Zinnes, what the federal court did is they went and listed MedStar Family Choice as an intervener. And that's sending a message to Judge Zinnes and Judge Schwang and the lower court that in the future, so even though it's not an official declaration that these people have to be put as a party, it's, it's a notice to uh, Judge Zinnes that look, you know, for me to get the proper relief, uh, I need to have uh, this Maryland government and their Medicaid program listed as a party so I can take action against them. So this was the order that the federal, so, so this was kind of the roundabout backhanded thing. This is kind of like, well, if, if, if you ask if you ask a court, I guess if you ask a court to declare that two people are married, um, the court rather than making a declaration that the two people are married, the court writes in the, the court writes at the top Mr. and Mrs. Smith and, and I guess if you write Mr. and Mrs. Smith I guess Mr. you know the you know Mr. and Mrs. Smith are married so this is kind of like the strange thing that the federal court did I mean the the higher court did so it's not direct it's indirect anyway so the message came down uh, loud and clear to Judge Zenis on May 5 2017 that she has to take care of my emergency request and she also has to uh, uh, add these people and go after uh, MedStar and go after the Maryland government to get me the proper relief and it's not limited to just a case against Inova. So this was May 5 and Judge Zinnes uh, in her way she does her work, what she already promised is uh, any kind of request, she, she gives a response within five business days at the latest. What she says is if you have any kind of a request, even a standard request, she will give a response within two business days. And at the latest, it's going to become five business days. 
and that's not even for an emergency so now for an emergency you would think for an emergency which has been going on for years and you would think for the emergency which the this, this latest request was actually from September of 2016 and then the appeals court is giving a ruling on May 5, 2017 telling Judge Zinnes to do the right thing and now look here, it's been a month and Judge Zinnes has not done anything about it. That's because Judge Zinnes cannot do anything. She's a criminal. Judge Zinnes and Judge Schwang did a whole bunch of crimes. They participated in, in the same, in the continuation of that same sex assault murder crime. You know, there is no separation. Just because they got in at a later point and just because their motivation was money or some other kind of uh, uh, enrichment and not, you know, having it aid and, and not having a deviant sexual kind of orientation, um, but still their uh, intention, uh, but they did the crime. They, they kept the sex murder crime going on. And so, and they have to, if they issue an order to Inova, or if they issue an order to the Maryland government or to MedStar, guess what? They'll be going against their fellow criminals. So, you know, that's not really going to work. And see what Judge Zinnes has to see what Judge so so we're wondering Zinnes now it's been a month even you know the whole thing is going on for four years the the matter has been in the uh, U.S. District Court in Greenbelt for two and a half years the uh, I've been making all these emergency requests for the last two and a half years the 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 request on which the appeals court ruled is actually nine months old. The appeals court made the ruling a month ago saying uh, to immediately take action and take care of my emergency request and also to add these other parties like MedStar and uh, the state, Maryland state government, whoever is needed to get me the immediate relief. And, and even the latest thing is almost a month old and then Zinnis herself said that she her style is the way she does stuff is even if it's not an emergency at the latest she rules on things within five days and it's entirely idle Judge Zinnis is not moving on it she's not moving on it she needs to you know recuse herself and it needs to be transferred over to uh, I guess a ethical, honest, real good judge and not a criminal who, you know, not a lifetime criminal who came on the federal court to commit more crimes like Paula Zinnes and Theodore Schwann. They don't, you know, they're lifetime criminals. They picked up right where they left off. And so now she doesn't want to recuse herself because you know why? When it goes to another judge, guess what? Zinnis becomes one of the perps, right? Zinnis and Schwang become equal to the Dr. Jacobsons and the Michelle Millers and the Sona Lee Kunkarnis and the Tom Mangers and she becomes equal to all those people and the Ken Samet, the CEO of MedStar and she becomes equal to all those people. So she becomes one of the perps. So she's not really in, so rather than being in control, um, as the judge, she's actually on the receiving end. So she's just sitting idly by, I guess she's waiting for me to die, but it hasn't happened yet, Judge Zinnes, so why don't you get the hell off my case and pass it on uh, back to your chief judge so he can go to a different uh, judge so I can get my medical care and so we can end this crime. Hey, Judge Zinnes, don't you think uh, some crimes have to end eventually. Now, this has been going on four and a half years. Don't you think it's time for uh, these people to stop watching the tape, masturbating, and having this, and, and,
and discussing it with each other and keeping on masturbating and having the crime going on even that way and not just in that way but they are actually keeping the crime going on because they um, want me to suffer even more injury so they have it going that way so it's an ongoing crime Zenas. we want the crime to end we want the people who did the crime to go to jail we want my medical care to take place you know when someone is a victim of a crime and they get injured normally they get medical care right away and everything else kind of you know gets taken care of down the road but here Judge Zenas is holding everything up so Judge Zenas get the hell out of my case.